y'all. We're back with the Mace Family Kitchen and today we received some knives that were a gift from a friend. Uh, he did have a request that we actually try them out on our YouTube video and give his honest feedback to them. Uh, they're not, they're not, we're not sponsored by anybody. We're not doing, this was a gift from a friend who asked if we could actually show them online and tell us what we thought about or tell you what we thought about them. <laughs> <laughs> so before we begin, we ask that you hit the like button, subscribe to the video or to our channel and uh, share the video with other friends. So with that, let's get started. All right, this is from a company called Kulina and uh, being a retired military, 100% disabled vet, uh, we don't live on that much money. So we wanted to kind of, he asked us, he purchased these, sent them to us and said, could you review these and could you uh, let me know what you think? So, uh, with Especially that, with two people who cook a lot. Yes. So let's go ahead and box. So the boxes are pretty cool. I and it comes this in. Art design. Of course, I would think of the art design. Holy cap. So that's the first one. I'll move this one. We'll go deal with one at a time. Okay, the first thing is extremely, extremely heavy. And I do love, um, this is just a canvas cloth. So actually, this is a really cool way to package it. I do love that there is a little snap here in the the top that you can hold the knife in with. Um, you know, it, it happens that we tend to grab out of a drawer and out of spaces that does uh, fall. <laughs> you know, you don't want to grab. Obviously, this is a blade you do not want to touch. So I'm gonna let you see. It's pretty thick. It is very thick, it is very heavy. Uh. What about the envelope edge of it? Yeah. So, I don't know if y'all can see it. It's, uh, it's pretty thick itself. Um, I mean, it's got a nice handle. It's well balanced in the hand. It uh, seems to be pretty straight. Um, the rivets that go into the tang here are, looks like they're they're just screws, or if that's the way it is, I don't know if y'all can see that, but uh, there's no real roughness to the handle. Um, it seems to fit, it seems to fit perfect on this side, and on this side it's a little off with this, uh, with this wooden part. So the one thing I would not agree with is that there's no finish on this this bottom <laughs> handle. And um, it's actually got some areas where it almost seems like you could get a splinter out of that. Let me grab um, my tape measure so we can measure how thick this blade is. So this is pretty fairly balanced and you know, for, for cutting large amounts of meat and, and things where you would be chopping, you know, this is, this is gonna make a pretty good cut. So the thickness of this blade here on the back side is about three eighths of an inch. So it's a pretty thick blade. And uh, the tip doesn't seem to be bent whatsoever. Um, we'll put these through a test of cutting, but it is pretty, pretty heavy. 
Um, so we'll put this one back in here and we got a second one that we'll move on to. Oops, this is backwards. Okay. And I guess there's three more that are coming. Okay, so we have almost equally as big. Holy cow. Uh, but this one seems to be a little bit lighter. It actually fits this pocket just a little bit better. Okay, there's something on the face. Okay, so this is a totally different handle than the first one. And it's got a blade cover. It's covered everywhere. So it looks like there's an oil protecting the, the knife itself. So there seems to be a little oil to it. I do like the feel of this one, that, that little bit of less intensity over holding it. I do like the handle better. Um, I, the wooden handle seemed a little bit rough, so I, I didn't really appreciate the fact that it felt like I could splinter. The riveting is not screws, so these are both actual sides of rivets. I do like the construction of it. I like, I, I do tend to love this kind of shape in this, um, the knife when I'm cutting things. For some reason, just this particular style, and I have knives like this that I use all the time, I am very comfortable with. I, I like the way they feel in your hand when you're cutting versus the long blades that, you know, we've seen over a continuous amount of years that just come out straight and to a point. I really love this rounded edge because it seems to add more balance when you're, you know, basically cutting down on something. Looks like we'll have to clean this one up a little bit before we use it. And this one is about an eighth of an inch thick right here at the, at the widest point. Um, Seems to be straight, as far as I can tell. I don't see any warping in the blade. Um, yeah, it seems to be well, well constructed. It does have the oil on there. I was told that it has the oil to keep it from rusting and a little rust is not gonna hurt it. So again, it's got a pretty sharp edge. And uh, of course, we'll do the paper test to see how sharp it is. So let's go ahead and move into the kitchen and Tracy's gonna see how these things cut because these were a gift from a friend. As I said, we are not sponsored by Kulina. We are not paid to uh, promote these. We are Testing giving- Testing out a gift. Yeah unbiased opinion because as a military vet uh and especially today with the whole coronavirus would you buy these if you had the money and uh that's that's what we're looking at and is it well worth the money now is it just me does it look like it's curved no i think that's just you okay. <laughs> It looks like it may be curved right in here. Check that out. No, I think again, that's just Okay. Too. All right, so let's move into the kitchen. Put it on this because it, it'll And work. Uh, let's go ahead and test this out. All right, y'all, these are some frozen ribs. Kind of wanted to see how sharp these things are uh, to see how well they could cut through things. Um, do we want to really do frozen food? I mean... Well, if it's a good enough knife, it's going to go through it. Okay, so... And these are frozen. Okay, it went through. 
and I don't see any damage on the blade itself. Um, let's see if this thing, it's not that sharp. So I think this is more of a, a hacking blade. It's really not sharp at all. Now this one, now this one here is pretty sharp, as you can see. And this one here, this big one is more of a, I don't know what you would call it, but it doesn't have that great of a, an edge to it. Really has no edge whatsoever, looking at it. Um, so to me, that's kind of a fail. Has no edge, and uh, I mean, it has no edge whatsoever. All right, guys, we're gonna get into this second knife. Joe's looking up some information on the first knife. So I like this, it kind of means that the blade always goes forward. And funny enough, I just tipped and hit this and it actually, cut it and I wasn't even trying. One of the things that happens a lot with unsharp knives and tomatoes is that they end up squishing. Now, I wouldn't necessarily use this as a everyday cutting knife because obviously it's, it's big, it's bulky and you know, but as far as sharpness, it's got that. The blade is ultra, ultra sharp. The, I mean, this, this just goes through any, like I, I did some thin, thin cuts. I did some thicker cuts. I accidentally dropped it on the tomato and it cut that. This would be a perfect blade for maybe cutting up meat, slicing meat. Um, obviously, I'm not gonna use this as an everyday knife because of the fact that um, it would need to be much thinner because this would be a weird thing to cut everything with. Um, but as far as the knife itself goes, it's a pretty decent knife. All right, after looking up some information on the Kulina website itself. Uh, it says it's voted the top, one of the top fives, uh, voted top five favorite knives amongst customers. Uh, it says it does have a r ridiculously strong blade and uh, it says it's handcrafted it says used for the kitchen or just add to your collection. Uh, it says it's perfect for butchering or chopping. Now chopping, yes, but butchering, butchering to me means you're making, you know, well bone meat by bone cuts so that you can actually, uh, you know, if you're out in the field and you wanna have something like this to go hunting, uh, you're taking it and you're actually uh, cutting the meat away from the bone so that you can easily pack stuff away. Uh, it has no blade. It has no blade, so to speak of, whatsoever. Uh, it's very dull. So this side doesn't even feel. So if, you're, if I'm holding it to you, this side right here, this side here, feels like it wasn't even sharpened whatsoever. Uh, this side barely looks like it was sharpened. So whoever makes these, uh, they're not sharpening the blades. And uh, they're sending out basically a dull blades. And it's almost like getting something just like this, but just right here. It's- Which for what we do would not really work. Well. This would, yeah, this would have to be sharpened before you could even use it uh, 
for anything. So that's kind of a fail to me personally on this knife. The knife does retail for $350. Uh, it's on sale now for $95. And would I purchase it if it was $95? Bucks? Yeah, I would purchase this. If I was a hunter, if I was more out in the field, we do a lot of farming here. So, and even slaughtering the animals we have here on the farm uh, is something that I would use this for. But again, at $95, I would expect this to come with a blade. And not having a blade is just, that to me is kind of a, is more of a fail. So this will have to be sharpened, which is kind of sad to me. Okay. This one, as Tracy was showing you, demonstrating to you, retails for $196, on sale now for $80. Uh, it says it's designed in Europe and uh, does come with a pretty good blade, I will, I will say that. This one to me is well worth the, if it's always gonna be the $80, I would pay $80 for a knife like this. Uh, you're gonna have to keep it oiled. It does come with oil, so as soon as you wash it, as soon as you use it, you're gonna have to clean it, oil it, to keep rust from forming on it, uh, because it is hand forged, as the site here says. The only thing is, is the box came in and it says made in China. So, I mean, I don't know if these are mass produced and they're just stamping their Kulina logo in there, but uh, I don't know. To me, it's worth it. Uh, we do a lot of cooking and, and uh, whatnot. So we do have three more knives coming uh, from these people. Again, we are not being shipped these knives from Kulina themselves. We're not being paid to do any type of advertisement. I want to make sure that this is an unbiased thing. And again, out of the two knives that we've gotten today, I would say the Pro Maja, I don't know, P-R-O-M-A-J-A, -A, Promaja, however you say it. This one, it's worth it. Uh, this one is worth it, but it, again, it has no blade. So that's the only thing that kind of stinks. So we'll wait for the other ones to come in and uh, do a review on them and let you know, in the end, would we buy these ourselves and uh, and then we'll do a review after about six months to see how they go. All right. So again, we hope you all enjoyed this video. Please give this video a thumbs up. Uh, give it uh, a subscription to our channel. And share this video for other people to see. Till the next time. Thanks.